All right, hey folks. KK4WX, back with you. This is Russ, and uh, got a little video I want to make tonight uh, about the uh, Yesu FTDX1200. Uh, oh, what a great rig. Sure beats all the rigs I've had in the past, I'll tell you that. Of course, I've had some oldies. But uh, it's probably not the top of the line nowadays, but sure does do a good job for me. Anyway, I've got a good friend, Brian, uh, N4API, and he's got a good question about this radio, about how do you run split operation with the two VFOs? Well, Brian, that's pretty easy. Uh, you know, the reason he's asking this if you've ever worked any DX on CW, you'll notice, uh, especially if the DX station is a, you know, a well sought after uh, location or country or whatever have you, uh, it's going to be a big pile up and he can't hardly hear anybody on the same frequency. So a lot of times he'll transmit uh, his call and then he'll say up or he'll send UP up and what he means by that is he's telling the stations that's listening and that are calling him to transmit up above his frequency. Now that could be anywhere from 1KC, I'm going to guess up to 10KCs, whatever. It's your choice. Uh, a lot of times you can watch the spotting networks and somebody is spotting and say, okay, he answered me on, you know, two KCs up or whatever, or plus two or, or plus three or whatever it was. So that's how this th little, uh, uh, that's how this little game works. And you've got to have split operation in order to do it. Okay, the Yesu FTEX 1200 uh, has split operation. So let's kind of look and go over a few items here. Okay, we've got right there the indicator for VFOA. VFOA is on 28.052. So I'm using CW mode and as you can see the clarifier is uh, basically just clarifier right now. The big knob here always represents clarif or um, VFOA. The smaller one, the smaller knob down here represents VFOB, you can see it right here, right there, VFOB. I think I got it right there at the end of my pen, VFOB. So this knob, I believe, is always going to be B. This one's always going to be A. So right now she's on 28.052, okay? So let's go ahead and put it in split operation there's your knob right there split i'm going to push it one time with my pen and notice how the two digital lights the green and the red shifted now the red one's over on b what does that mean that means red means transmit green means receive so yes the B VFO now is the transmitting VFO. The, the A is a receive. Okay, the A is still on 28.052. Hey, look here. Here we've got some other digits that just popped up. That's VFO. I can hold this thing steady. That's VFO B. VFO B is on 14.033. That's 20 meters. Wow. We don't want it there. What do we do? Right here, this little knob right here, this A is greater than B. Push it one time. It was pushed, look at there. It put VFOB on the same frequency as VFOA is on. Just that simple. Now, I'm gonna transmit, I'm gonna bump this key right here and it's going to, I've got my MFJ antenna tuner turned on. 
and it should when I touch the cure it should uh, make a few clicks and tune the uh, tune the antenna there it goes just that easy a few clicks an antenna tuner if anybody's ever wanted a, an antenna tuner that is quick that antenna tuner right there, the MFJ antenna tuner is model MFJ 99993B. That's a good one. Well, folks, look at where the transmit frequency is. This is a true frequency counter, 28.052. I'm going to transmit. You can hear the sine wave. And there's the power. There it is, 14 watts out. We got about a half a watt reflected. It's 28.052. Okay. Let's go back to the radio and look. All right, let's say that DX station is calling. He's saying up. Okay, we want to turn and adjust our smaller VFO knob this VFO B we want to crank it up here we go look at there I'm turning it up a half a KC three quarters of a KC I can take it up one KC let's just take it up one all right I'm here we go 28.052 is received 28.053 is the transmit. Now I'm going to touch my keyer again and transmit and let's see where she's transmitting. There we are. 28.053. There's the power. Folks, that's a true readout. That is a true frequency counter in that IntelliTuner. I do not have a wire or any kind of hard wire going to the cat control on the back of this Yaesu FTDX1200. Yes, it does have a cat control, but I don't have one hooked up. This is reading the RF coming out of the coax and going into the back of the of the uh, MFJ IntelliTuner, and it's reading the RF and what frequency it is. And that's the true frequency right there. 28.053. All right. Let's say the guy, you didn't get him there. You want to roll it up with another KC. Maybe two. Let's go up to 55. There we go. Just that easy. 28.055. I'm going to again back off, touch the cure. Let's see what frequency she's on. Back again. 28.055, right on the money. And we got a 1.4 SWR, it says. 14 watts forward, a half a watt reflected power. So it's just that simple, folks. Uh, I don't see what's hard about it. it seems awful uh, easy to me. <laughs> So, uh, if you want to go up, you know, however far you want to go up, I mean, this, just roll this knob. I mean, you could roll it to, uh, you could roll it all the way back to the 15 meter band. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. You can separate the two. You can have VFO B on 20 meters like it was first, when it first came up. And you can have VFO A on, on, uh, 10 meters here. And you can transmit on 20 and receive on 10. I mean, I don't see the advantage in that, but but uh, but you could do it. That's how versatile this rig is. You could even use different modes if you can believe that. You can you can uh, transmit FT8 or Ready uh, on VFOB, and you can receive CW or whatever you want sideband on VFOA. As long as, you know, you've got the two split. And that's all it is. All you have to do is use this split button right here. 
mash it one time and if you want to equal out the VFOs send whatever frequency A you want to send it to B you hit this knob and that frequency is going to change to this knob here it's going to be on the same frequency see I can do that again let's while I while I push this A equals B knob I'm going to push it one more time and you're going to see how the frequency is going to jump there it goes jump back to 520 or 052 okay that's it for the uh, lesson on the FTDX 1200 I hope you enjoyed it the split operation good luck and lots of DX to you 7 threes this is KK4WX in southern Georgia good DX folks see you next time